What's up, everyone? And yes, before you say anything, the hair is all gone. I hosted a poll over on Twitter asking if I should cut the hair or not, and overwhelmingly, you guys said to cut it. So apparently, I have been living in a lie this past, like, year and a half, or however long it took me to grow out the hair. But I'm thinking that you guys might have liked it, when in secret all along, you didn't, but you just didn't have the heart to tell me until you could anonymously respond to it in a poll. But I probably needed to do it for my work and professional life anyway. But it's good to know that that's what you guys really thought this whole time. At least you guys didn't have the heart to tell me, so I could feel good about it the whole time. But anyway, welcome to the final episode of Millennium Duel's Expert Mode, where we're taking on Yuma Tusukuma and his Utopia deck. Which, gave, the Utopia deck gave us a lot of trouble last time. Hopefully, we have learned from the experience and are ready to take it on. 70 weeks of Millennium Duel's Expert Mode content has been leading up to this. It's been quite the journey. Thanks, everyone, who has been a part of the ride the whole way. And if you're new, I hope you enjoy the next journey we take together on this channel. It feels really weird to be saying that this will be it for Millennium Duels. That we'll literally have done everything in the game after this. It really has just been a crazy journey of lots of laughs, frustration, reading the comments from you guys, lots of late nights staying up during college editing episodes of Expert Mode, because that was the one I always tried to make sure got out on time. And that some nights, you know, I'd have to pull all-nighters while also studying for exams to try to get these out. So it'll be a really weird sense of I get, oh, accomplishment for be, having finally finished it, but just that it'll be done. It'll be weird. After this video, we will be, li be living in a post-expert mode world. And I hope you guys will be ready to take the next journey with me in another game. First off, you know how much easier it makes my morning routine not having all of this hair now? I will say, that's probably the best part of this. Thanks to everyone over on Twitter who participated in the poll. Wow, first turn Utopia, so we're off to a crazy start. I didn't even get out, um, like any traps that could stop it. Oh, never mind, it's going right toward this, huh? Already Ray Victory on the first turn. At least it can't attack me. What's its effect again? I'm sure I've probably read this thing's effect like a dozen times. But, what if you can discard one card and then target one card on the field? Can I just destroy this right away? If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spell trap cards until the damage step. If this card is Utopia Monster, as an XYZ material, it gains this effect when this card declares an attack. Your opponent can attach. Da -da 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 -da. Let's just go right for summoning Snipe Hunter to get rid of it. Because I can get rid of one of them in the first turn, that would be ideal. What would be a good card to get rid of? I think Alien Telepath is an okay sacrifice for this. We'll destroy you. Perfect. I can attack directly with it, and we'll have Bottomless Trap Hole just in case he summons anything special and fancy for XYZ summoning in the next turn. I also have Offering a Snake, De Snake Deity set, even though it doesn't matter because this isn't a reptile monster, but it's on the field, which means I can activate it next turn if I do successfully summon one of my alien monsters, which I should be able to. I don't imagine Yuma's deck is very based around preventing me from summoning things. It's probably mostly... Oh, I don't even get to activate Bottomless Trap Hole before that, huh? With 1,500 attack or more. I should be able to use it for Utopia, right? Yeah, see ya. And he has no trap cards for an XYZ Reborn. I assume that is a Mirror Force or something relating to it. Well, part of me wants to summon Alien Mother, but getting both of these out would be great. And I would do more life point damage, especially in a turn where I could directly attack. It would be nice to just get this out right away. I was think we could get rid of one of these for um, offering to the snake deity, but you know what? No, I don't win from this, but I was think we could just get rid of this trap card, right, with Snipe Hunter? Let's just try it. Because what if this is a mirror force or something? And it was... Call of the Haunted, which means he would have brought a Utopia back and blocked one of these attacks, it wouldn't have been able to do anything because it needs XYZ material. But I think using Snipe Hunter's effect just to keep Yuma cardless will be pretty effective. Because basically, his the next card he draws has to be another card that will work in sync with his XYZ material to be able to summon another Utopia. But we already destroyed two of them. Unless he can consistently... Are you serious? Oh no, he couldn't get Utopia out with this. It's a different level. 
When your opponent's life points are at least two, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can target one Utopia monster, you control, equip this monster on the field so that target it gains 2,000 attack. Once per turn, well, this card is equipped to a monster when a trap card or effect was activated on your opponent's side of the field. Let's just... No. First one we're going to get rid of is Alien Dog. Now I'm going to get rid of both of these. I don't... No. I don't feel like you being able to do anything. GG. Thanks. What is this? Mass Hypnosis? Now, why would I check the field? There's nothing on the field but my own cards. What a fantastic first round. Oh, Jesus. It going this smoothly has to mean something is gonna go wrong. Or, now at the end of this journey, am I finally just good at this game? Can we say that? You know, after hours spent dueling Pegasus, the other guy that I took a long time dueling, Astral Zane is his name. That's who I was thinking of. Maybe now I just wipe the floor with everyone. Feels good, man. He had two Utopia summons, and we successfully shut down both of them right away. Will he successfully get Utopia out again in the first turn? Of course he will. Hmm. Let me tell you how little I appreciate what's happening here. If only you could save in this game, like after you won the first round and just kind of cheat a little bit. So we do know now that he will consistently get Utopia out. Every time Utopia is missing, he will get Utopia again. What's happening here? Lightning Blade. Looks like a cat to me. You can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this monster from your hand to your, or your side of the field to the target. It gains 1200 attack. While well, this card is equipped, face up ZW cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If a monster equipped with this card would be destroyed by card effect, destroy this card instead. Neat. Okay. So that makes me uncomfortable. I'll play this. Each time a face up alien monster is destroyed. I guess we'll set this first. So it has an alien counter on it. And maybe I can just take control of it. That would be fine. We're gonna have to play this one a little bit more defensively now that he already has a Utopia with effects on the field. If I can hear, no, I'm not gonna bottomless trap hole. Go, 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 golem. But thanks for the offer. Place the counter on you. Just because that makes me feel good. Hey, and I get to draw a card. Look at that! Of course, now he's going to use Go 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 Golem in attack position. That's an interesting decision. What else can I do here? I don't have a monster that can take out Go 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 Golem. That's stressful. Uh, do we just set another monster in defense position for this turn? I guess so. You contribute one face to level 3 or lower monster on your opponent's side of the field. Well, guess what? Who doesn't have one of those? I guess we'll just set this one for now. Wow. This is the travesty we avoided in the first round. Oh, that's gonna really suck if that went so well. Just to get wrecked for the rest of them. I want to save Bottomless Trap Hole for something like this. This makes far more sense to use it. I can't let him stack Utopias like this. Yes. So there's one Utopia left, and it has um, a thing equipped to it. So we need to think of a way to get rid of it. Uh, I got nothing yet. Orbital Bombardment. Card to place a counter on this one. Now a risky play here to destroy one spell or trap card on the field. See, I could have two on the field next turn, so I wouldn't be completely defenseless. I could put a bunch of uh, alien cards on this. So I would like to do is destroy this. Well, this card is equipped to a monster face-up ZW cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Does this count as a face-up CW or ZW monster? Because that seems really OP. Does this count as one of the face-up cards that cannot be targeted while it's used as an equipped card? Let's try it. I mean, I get the feeling that this duel is already a wash anyway. So what I'll do is I'll summon this. I mean, I can make it lose. Activate the effect of the card, yes. It's going to lose a lot of attack this turn anyway. All right, we'll add another. That's so it's 900 total loss. No, it's 1200 total loss from his attack. Especially if I do this. This would just let me special summon something, right? I don't have a good alien monster in the graveyard. Once per turn, you can remove one A counter from an opponent's monster. Let's see if this counts. I assume this must count as like it must be immune to effects or something, right? Yeah. I kind of figured, 
that would be the case. So its own effect protects it from itself. Like, protects it from ways to get rid of that card. So the only way I could get rid of it would be by destroying Utopia. So Alien Bombardment will do nothing for me here. Oh, that's frustrating. But it is now going to ask me to activate it each turn. Whatever, 2800, so we only lose 1200 for that. Take the effect of a card. No. If I destroy this, is it already too. Is it already too late? Will that still summon since it's been activated or no? Okay. Neat! I really just wanted to use Orbital Bombardment. What are the odds he had two of them in his hand, though? This deck seems to always draw that little stupid fucking um, airplane guy in like the first turn all of the time. Oh, we better do him on this, because I'm going to smash and ground the shit out of this one. Oh, no, I'm not. Because uh, this is going to be okay. Problem is, I want to save this for when... I can, uh, actually, nah. I need to buy time. I wanted to save this for when I could actually summon, like, Alien Overlord or some shit. But that's not gonna be the case. Place you in defense position. Just to block both of these attacks so I can prevent how many life points I'm gonna possibly lose. But I think this duel's already pretty, pretty done. Unless I can get, like, Alien Omniite. Three Utopias is gonna cause a huge problem. Hey, I got one counter back. Isn't that nice? I'll take a thousand damage on top of that. Yeah, this one would be hard to come back from. Especially because that's probably like Fall of the Monster. <laughs> Mirror Force could be in clutch here. I'm going to waste all these alien counters. What I should have done was probably put it on this instead. Put one on one bit. Oh, never mind. Let's remove them from his monsters. Oh, they each have one. Okay. Doesn't matter. I just want to do this because if I'm about to mirror force them seriously, I might as well. And then I can remove them. Oh, I can use his effect to remove that or destroy that trap card he's got face down as well, right? Because if they're all going to die and not have counters on them next turn, I might as well just get rid of them. This could hopefully prevent... What is this? XYZ Reborn. Oh, yes, because that would have been able to bring these guys back. So, if I use Mirror Force here, all Utopias will be out of play. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. When any player's monster is declared, just negate the attack. Okay, so I can't attack anyway. I was thinking about attacking Guy 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 Girl, but I can't attack here anyway because of that. Crap! I mean, I can get rid of the other ones, but won't this... Can't he use um, Utopia's effect to negate the effect or something? No, he can't. Well, now I just have to get rid of Utopia. Should be one alien monster. Oh, well, it's got alien counters on it, so this isn't going to do it without eight counters. Shit. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? Remove a counter from this. And a counter from this. A special summon a monster and get rid of the other Utopia. Bring me back... How many times have I brought back alien telepath this duel? Holy crap. He's been quite the trooper, coming back from the dead again and again and again. He's like an anime, like, token monster at this point. Plant Pollutant Virus. Oh, I probably activated this too soon. I should have activated it after he summoned stuff. Because he's still going to be able yeah, he's still going to summon something here. Which defeats the purpose. Had I just waited till main phase after he activated that, I could have saved myself 1400 life points. And had that monster. Damn it. Whatever. Because what we're going to do now... I can attack twice with this and get another monster on the field. I will special summon by pulling one counter from him. I want one counter on him still so I can uh, attack twice with Alien Hunter. We'll bring back... I guess Telepath again. Hi! Remember this guy? Ooh. And then maybe after this we'll XYZ summon something. Yes, of course activate the effect of him. I would like him to attack twice. 
I need because I need to really start getting uh, some damage in him real fast. That's why in main phase two I want to uh, X Y Z some of these guys because on their own they both have really low attack. I'd rather avoid that possibility of them just getting direct attack and killed, if possible. Yeah, they have nice effects, but I can't pay a thousand life points. Or no, he can pay a thousand life points to negate it. No, that's okay. <gasps> Let's just go with Gemini Pearl. I know that's super basic, but it's got a high attack, which is what I really need right now. That if he's able to get Utopia back out, I need it to be the minimum amount of life points. Or minimum amount of attack point damage that I take. In turn. And he's gotta be on a tricks to play, right? One card? You can't chain a combo off of one card, right? Please be a monster. Fantastic. Oh, I'm out of, uh... The ability- I'm out of the ability to special summon monsters. Whoops. Oh, man. 200 short! I've taken the lead back. But if it was any other alien monster in my deck, we would've just won there. That's okay. A flawless victory. In oh. I wanted to say incoming. It's not, though. This puts everything in jeopardy. Oh, I need something that will allow me to... Yes. I wanted to just destroy this without doing anything. That's exactly what we were looking for. Is this card right here. Destroy one monster on the field with an A counter. Wait for it. First, I'm going to bring back Alien Telepath, as is tradition. Because this has two counters on it. So I'll take one from you. One from here. Wait! Oh, he's part of the XYZ material! No, I can't bring him back! Oh well. Your service will not be forgotten, Alien Telepath. I will remember you fondly. Because I assume its effects are disabled, right? Oh no, its effects might not be disabled. Oh! Uh -huh. Destroy you. Thanks for playing. Special summon monster to the field. Alien Telepath. Where are you, my friend? No! I only have the one! This almost feels like a, like a betrayal by not bringing Alien Telepath. We'll bring out Alien Hypno because he looks cool. Never forget Alien Telepath. Thank you for your service. Also, see you when this is Mirror Force. Ugh! We did it! You win! Where's my achievement? I beat Yuma. I was expecting the achievement to go boop here. Okay, maybe the achievement will pop after I read every one of the fancy little cards I won here. Including Star Drawing. If this card is used for an XYZ summon, you can treat it as a level 5 monster. An XYZ monster that was summoned using this card as an XYZ material gains this effect. When it is summoned, draw one card. Aw. It looks really cute, though. Crash Bug Z. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one Crash Bug Y from your deck. You must control a face-up Crash Bug X to activate and resolve this effect. Gravekeeper's Visionary. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one Gravekeeper's monster. This card gains 200 attack for each Gravekeeper's monster in your graveyard. This face-up card would be destroyed. You can discard one Gravekeeper's monster instead. Shock Troops of the Ice Barrier. You can tribute this card to select one face-up water monster on the field and destroy it. Add one ice monster from your deck to your hand. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Horse Prince. When this card is Synchro Summon, you can Special Summon one level 3 fire monster from your deck. After you Synchro Summon this card, you cannot Special Summon level 5 or higher monsters for the rest of the turn. Swift Scarecrow. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard this card, negate the attack, and then end the battle phase. Formation Union. There were a lot of Union cards going on in this duel, although... For whatever reason, they weren't labeled as Union, even though they were being equipped into Utopia. Select and activate one of the following effects. Equip one Union monster on your side of the field to an appropriate monster on your side of the field as an equipped spell card. Unequipped one of your equipped Union monsters and special summon it to your side of the field in face of attack position. Skull Archfiend of Lightning. Some also call this monster... Oh, what's it called again? Summon Skull. That's it. During each of your standby phases, you must pay 500 life points. This is not optional, or this card is destroyed. Disorp before resolving an opponent's card effect that targets this card, roll a six-sided die. Negate the effect if you roll one, three, or six, and if you do, destroy that card. Pragatal. Practical. Pragatical. The fusion for 1900 attack with no effect. Oh, boring. Hysteric Fairy. Offer two monsters on your side of the field as tribute to increase your life points by a thousand. 
No. There it is. Achievement unlocked number one. <sighs> Completed expert mode. That is 12 of 12. We have all the achievements in Millennium Duels. It's finally happened. That feels good. It feels real good. Should we share this? How do we share it? Oh, share on Facebook. No thanks. I wanted to share it with you guys, but if you're watching the video, it has already been shared with you. You are already in the know. Look how cool this little icon is, though. Remember when achievements used to be these little tiny little icons, and so now they're like huge wallpapers? Or they're trophies if you're on PlayStation for whatever reason? Beep, you are now a master duelist. You have defeated every duel challenge in the VDS system. There is a world of duelists that await you online. Congratulations. What a fitting end to the expert mode journey is that the final duel goes off without a hitch, and we win pretty much as smoothly as we could have possibly won. Thanks everyone who's been watching along and growing with me and becoming the expert duelist that I am now. I couldn't have done it without your help in the comments and all of you guys giving me advice over the years. It's been quite a ride, it's been so much fun. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's no duelist to take on next time because we have finished Millennium Duels. Those of you who have been with me the whole time, I really appreciate it, and even if you're new, I appreciate you stopping by and checking things out. There will be more content in the future, fear not, just because we're done with this game finally does not mean we're done on the channel, so I hope you guys still stick around and check out some other content. We'll be playing probably more Yu-Gi-Oh! games soon. Leave some comments, suggestions of course, below. Maybe we'll be looking for Legacy of the Duelist Challenge mode after this one, though I did breeze through it in a stream one time, but maybe we'll check on that a little bit later. But until then, it's been so much fun, you guys. It's so weird to think that this is like, the series is done now. The series, not the channel, the series. Come back next week for more videos and content. But, I just, it, I don't even know what to say. I had like this whole thing that we, I would have a dramatic end planned, but it feels good to just complete this, finally. And I hope you guys get the same sense of completion too, because we have done it together and it's been quite the ride man a lot of late nights a lot of staying up reading comments we're trying to respond to you guys all the time it always seemed like the series that wasn't gonna finish i think this playlist has like what is it 78 79 videos in it because one time i did two expert mode duels in a row but that felt like it was gonna be too much uh time to edit two duels together after i dueled like pegasus i think i decided fuck that i'm not gonna do <laughs> two expert mode duels a week, because a lot of them were really hard, though some of them, like Duke Devlin, were super easy. And towards the end, I started to just crank them out really easy. A lot of, I think a lot of people were disappointed that I was starting to get pretty good at it. And then in Legacy of the Duelist, I'll have even better decks, so we'll see. Don't mean to drone on here with my outro, of course, it's already mushy enough as it is. Check out the links in the description below where you can help support the channel by following me on Twitter or patreon.com slash qbystudios, where over there you can make suggestions on which game to play next as well. Of course, you can subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Help me grow up this bad boy, my little baby, Cubi Studios. You hit the like button, hit the notification bell to know when I'm streaming and all sorts of things like that. But above all else, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, thank you so much for being a part of this ride for me. I keep talking like this, like this channel is done after this, it's not. But th just this game being done feels like such a monumental moment in the channel. Like a, a, mi a big milestone. It's crazy. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. In the next series we do. Goodbye! Enough! Let's shuffle our decks and let the show begin. That's, uh, okay. Shout out to me already getting Joey's card. Pay half your life points. Summon one Dark Magician from your deck. You cannot summon another monster the turn you activate this effect. But you can set. I have a little bit too many...